we have one more thing to talk about, and it's actually the coolest thing we have to yeah. talk about by far. Um, it's called the Oculus Rift. It's a virtual reality thing. It's also like the greatest name ever. Uh, and Nathan Ingram, <laughs> one of our news writers, went and got to take a look at this thing. So let's take a look at that. Hi, this is Nathan with The Verge. We're here at Oculus and we're taking a look at the Rift. This is their virtual reality headset and the piece of hardware we've got right here is the uh, developer kit which is shipping out to Kickstarter backers at the end of March. And it's pretty simple. What you see here, um, the strap goes around your head and there's two lenses here uh, that you look through for the 3D uh, virtual reality experience. And the total resolution of the screen is 1280 by 800. Each eye receives uh, 640 by 800 input. Um, you know, the, the resolution doesn't sound as impressive as some of the high-res screens you see today, but uh, we've been assured that once you put it on, you're not even going to notice that. We'll find out soon. So that's basically all there is to the uh, prototype hardware here. Uh, there's a box right here, the control box. This hooks into your PC. It's got a DVI port, HDMI, USB, and power. And that's about all there is from a hardware perspective, but what we're really looking forward to checking out is the software and how it works once you put it on. So we saw this video and we're like super into this idea and Neelai and I were both like, we have to try this immediately. So yes. we actually brought some of the folks from Oculus VR here. This is Palmer Lucky, the founder. And so Palmer, tell us like, what, what is this thing that we're looking at here? So this is a prototype of the Oculus Rift developer kit. It's basically a virtual reality headset with an extremely wide field of view and ultra low latency head tracking so that it actually makes you feel like you're inside of the game. Yeah. So what's like what, give me an idea of how kind of how this changes like especially for gaming how this changes how you play games. Well, that's one of the things, reasons we're putting out a developer kit, you know, so people can mess around with it and tell us how they think it's going to change it. But um, one thing no, for certain, no, no. Pay attention. To <laughs> <laughs> uh, one one thing that is going to change for certain is that um, is that games, it's not just about maybe having a task-oriented game where it's complete task, complete task, complete task, and that's where your enjoyment comes from. One cool thing about VR, if you actually feel like you're inside of the you space, can hit him, that's okay. you, can, you actually feel like you're inside of the space, and that's huge for immersion. So many games that have replaced immersion with you know, trying yeah. to accomplish goals, now it's actually about being inside of the game, and just being there might, you know, that'll, that'll be powerful tough. on its own. Yeah. And it might not be enough, but it's, it, it'll be a, Something there are huge nerds across America who want nothing more than just be lost in like the marathon spaceship. Yeah, no I'm question. I'm just in it. No or question. amnesia or okay. something like that. I have it. All right, so let's, let's try I want to put it on my face really bad. That's all. <laughs> all right, all right. So take this, hold it up to your face, move it up and down until it's in the sweet spot. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. You doing pretty good? Oh, God. Oh, right, God, I'm it? in a spaceship. You good? I'm good. All right. I'm so so tell me, tell me what we're seeing. These, David, these you look like a barrel. Back here. So, so what this is back here is this is a stair, a stair uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, can, can you still see it? No. My foot just hit this oh, thing. Oh, we're back. back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Whew. Whoa. I swear I had a heart attack. All right. Um, I'm about to so have what, a heart attack. Joy. <laughs> so what this is? This is a stereoscopic this is so 3D awesome. image. Um, it's pre-warped, you can see, to work for our fish, basically their fish eye lenses. Yes. Um, this is our Unity integration, so Unity is a great engine. We also have Unreal Engine integration in code, so you can put in other engines, but this is Unity right here. Um, this, this is basically is just a small life. space station. It's a tech demo. You can't really do much in it, but you can do a few things. So, so we're just looking around as this is like something? what Neelai's two eyes are seeing. Yes. Yeah, so what, what you're seeing behind here is what he can see. Just for people noticing, you know, trying to analyze latency or anything, yeah. the input on this TV has quite a bit of latency. Fair so enough. it's actually not lagging nearly yeah, as much. It, so as I will say, head. I'm wearing this thing. I mean, as I'm talking, uh, it's moving up and down, and on the image is moving up and down, wow. which is crazy. Like it, it, knows, it knows it's on my face. All right, so, so what you're going to do is uh, look all the way up. This uh, is, yeah, look all the way up. Now also show, like try touching your ear to your shoulder. Uh, to, to, tilt your head, oh. tilt your head. <laughs> Wait, I can't, so, there you go. I can't move my ears in that way. <laughs> so that, that, that's something that you can't do in a normal, in a normal game. Whoa. You don't get any roll effects. All right. um, can I go somewhere? Yes, you can go. So here's the controller. The right stick will move you, you around. The left stick will rotate. Do you there you I'm go. looking at my hands. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. It's like oh, God. Ah! All right. Ah! All right, so. <laughs> this is so cool. Take it easy. Try to use the, Take, the, the oh. your head more than you're using whoa. the right thumbstick. So I'm looking at this fan and I can like track the, whoa, dude. Okay, I know that, that me looking at a fan is not awesome for you, but it is super trippy for me. So oh, you can go I'm like shy, down around shy, the corner. Shy, okay, I'm don't sorry. Ruin it. That's, that's my bad. Okay, whoa! Take your time. This is, whoa, God. So I'm not good at video games. I don't know if that's <laughs> obvious to everyone. <laughs> 
Uh, this is awesome. What's some stuff? Whoa, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So there's, a, there's a camper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up from watching you do this. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I will say, like, this is ridiculous. Like, it, I don't like 3D things. Um, I usually get a headache and hate myself. But this is legitimately, like, awesome 3D. Like, so, like, virtually this feels like I'm in this room. Yeah. Go uh, up to those sparks. Try looking into them. It'll actually hello. feel like you're... That's walk further. Feels. Walk oh, further. I got it. There you go. Why? No. <laughs> no, I'm on fire. No. Okay, hold on. This is awesome. I mean, like, I, I don't, you can probably see this on the screen behind me, but this feels like these are falling on me. Uh, which, ah, uh, God. And it actually <laughs> feels like those pipes are actually running by your head. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, these pipes, I'm pointing at nothing. I mean, that's that's the level of immersion that, God, I gotta get out of this part. You just tried to point uh, at the pipes. Yeah, no, that's the level. I mean, I feel like I can point at things while I'm wearing this. I mean, I also feel like I'm chaotically moving around in space. Because that's exactly that's you're, you are chaotically moving. I, might I have to say, here's what I Try moving say. one at a time. This no, is no, like no. drunk knee line in space. Here's what I want you to know. If I could move my body like this <laughs> in, th in, like, real life, this is what I would do. I would just, <laughs> oh my god, I'm dancing. It's like you're the Flash. Have you ever seen me on a dance floor at a nightclub on drugs? It's, it's very serious. It, looks, it's very it actually looks like I'm wearing a headset holding an Xbox controller. <laughs> uh, is there other stuff for me to look? Oh god, whoa. Yeah, there's a few. So, cool okay, that was really awesome. That looked like I was going to hit my head. Like, I stopped because that is about head height for you're me. And that, that is very uncomfortable. Well, that's and one of I the cool things about VR is you actually notice the sense of scale me. in the environment a lot. Yeah, I mean, this is like, I'm, I'm like inches away from this. I want to, that's where, <laughs> hello. Again, I this like is, to point out that for the average viewer, what this looks like. You're no, you're wrong. This is amazing. You're, this is fine. stupidly. Yep. Oh my it's God. Great. Hello. Ooh. Can I go to Medieval Village? Oh, hey now. My. Hmm. This is ridiculous. So, and so now he's in a completely entirely different place in just a few seconds. Yes, but I'm also just doing this dance. <laughs> <laughs> Try to use one thumbstick at a time. No. So Look, well, why don't you use one thumb when you can use two? <laughs> well, use your head instead of the thumb to move. Oh, Try doing that. Yeah. So tell me, like, this where awesome. are we in the process of this becoming like a thing I can off. buy and play games with? Uh, so, you know, we're shipping developer kits in two months for $300. Because you started and as a Kickstarter, right? Yeah, we, that was the, see, the yeah, first. So, so we started as a Kickstarter, raised $2.5 million to ship developer kits. Um, as far as when everyone's going to be able to do this, that really depends on the feedback that we get from developers. You know, we're putting these out there oh, so that whoa. we can hear what, you know, from people like him and say, these are the improvements that we want to see. So this is what we really need. And then we can deliver that in a consumer version. So, so I can't like peer at things. No, so right now all you have is rotational tracking. Our tracker is currently a gyroscope, an accelerometer, and a magnetometer. Um, so it's only netting you basically rotational tracking. Right. And also, if you roll your head, we have it on a neck model. Wow. So um, it knows your head can only move in a certain way. So you get a little bit of position there. But if you're doing this, you're not going to get anything. I don't know um, what you just did. Because so I'm what, if I lean there. forward and lean backwards, ah, I don't get gotcha. anything. That's something that we're working on for the okay. consumer version. It's, it's basically a must-have kind of feature um, to keep players from getting disoriented, to really connect oh, that God. feel of immersion. I'm going to take the controller one more time, and I'm going to put Please. you in the medieval village because you wanted to be there. Yes. So right, here what, you go, what other village. kinds of like movements and stuff can you program into this? What else have you tested and thought about doing? Movements in terms of what your head can do? Or, or just other oh, things that Neil so, I could be doing right now. So one of the things uh, that we're looking into doing is uh, integrating different kinds of motion controllers. So that you know, we think it'd be really cool in a future version to be able to see your hands or to be able mm -hmm. to hold a weapon yeah. and actually move it around in a real space or track your whole body. And those are all things that we're experimenting right. with if I right could, like, now. Look, so the thing I can't do in 3D is like, I can't look around this thing. Exactly, you don't have any positional tracking right now, which right. you know, you probably missed it because you were so enthralled, but we've, <laughs> that, that, it, that's one of the things that will be in right. the consumer right. version. I'm leaving the village. Ah! <laughs> I look like a bird? So our producer just you said in my ear, I look like a, some that's, kind of bird. That's exactly correct. I do? Like a terrifying blind bird that oh. might kill you at any moment. I mean, oh god. One interesting thing, you know, right, this isn't a next-gen controller, it's just a gamepad because it's a tested, you know, interface right. that's good for developers to use for programming. Right. Yeah, so um, what, what, when you say developers, are you, are you talking to gaming companies or like, Indies? People or who, I, who else? So, who else? I mean, I come from the indie community, you know, the, the hacker enthusiast mm -hmm. community. I think that there's going to be some really amazing stuff that comes out of indies and small studios that are just building stuff from the ground right. up. I mean, um, just I'm excited this, about like coming up to this building and looking up to see what it is instead of like having to like run away and look at the sign is like very different. Like, it's a very, it feels like I'm in this medieval village. I would like, I mean, if I could just sit on this rock and maybe get some wine and some cheese. <laughs> 
This is very relaxing. Just sit and drink some wine, real real life wine and cheese in yeah, VR exactly. Village. Am I in a lake? It's a little pond. Oh God, I could just sit here for hours. But there will be AAA uh, titles that, uh, that'll be really interesting, but I think that the most interesting thing overall will be indies who build games for VR from the mm -hmm. ground up. Because like the iPhone, the best games are not the you know, ports of first person right. shooters. They're the ones that use touch screen analog yeah. sticks. They're the ones that were designed with the hardware in mind. Right. And it's the same thing for probably the Wii, where there's some games that used it in maybe a gimmicky fashion where it was shoehorned in. Yeah. But Nintendo first party titles, most people would agree, they utilize motion controls in a really good way. I think it's going to be the same way for VR. People are going to have to make games that are designed with virtual reality in mind. I don't know how to get out of that pond. <laughs> so you, That's, I'm. Uh, it's, you a one, it's, your, it's a one-way ticket. At which, at which point do I drown? At which point does a headset alert me that my, my lungs are rapidly filling with water? Oh, I'm out of the pond. Oh, what? You <laughs> did it. There you go. So yeah. when, uh, can you give us an idea of like the timeline of all this? You're shipping out to developers in two months. And so then, we're shipping out to developers in two months. We're already working on prototypes of the next generation consumer version. Um, we're not going to ship it until we have time to get feedback from developers. But it's not going to be one of those things that never shows up or takes years and years. It's going to be in the relatively, relatively near future. Fair enough. Cool. Well, thank you so much for coming thank out and you. showing thank us. You and thank you for having me. If only for the unbelievable gifts that we're please, about to see of Neil I Patel. Please do from not this take this away from my head. <laughs> So, I mean, right, this is awesome. Uh, you can keep playing. It's um, cool. I'm gonna, Just stay. Hold on. You'll be fine. Oh, God. Let's make sure his eyes aren't all bloodshot. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Is, is it worse out here? You'd rather go back? I mean, that was very relaxing. <laughs> yeah. I found a I, I left the Is lake. this going to be the new massage chairs where you go and you get like massage that. chairs? Yeah. You I mean, go was, and you put it you on, on the seat. You hang out in Medieval Village for a while. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I will go. say, like, taking that off and coming back to this space actually felt like returning to this space as opposed to like turning not, your TV off. not looking at a screen yeah. anymore. And that's what it's all about, that's being great. inside yeah. the game. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you again. Yeah. Thank uh, you. And awesome. that, thank you so much for letting me play with that. That is, thank you. That is our show.